Well, here's the man in the first inning that I thought it would change the first inning, and four runs came out of it. Let's see how Odorizzi handles Devers this time. The first inning, Devers fell in the hole, nothing in two, and then worked a walk. As they continue to try to work him up, and that misses for ball one. Odorizzi after the walk is allowed a hit a strikeout now another hit. Here comes a 1 0. Strike one. Odorizzi as a starter tries to be sneaky quick right location driven little spin little cut little split little movements to get the hitters off of his fastball when he's effective. Hit down the line. It is gone for a grand slam. Second of the game for the Red Sox, and they lead eight to nothing here in game two. First time that has ever happened in postseason history. If one team has hit multiple grand slams in the same game, and it's happened in the first two innings. Remember when I said every postseason you see something that hasn't <laughs> happened before? Well, we just saw it. Just saw it here, and a very confident offensive machine that Boston has going, and a cart driven fury early. Against the starter Garcia, and this has a ripple effect the rest of the series too. If Garcia is injured, not only do they have to move Odorizzi to this game and likely wipes him out of Game Four, which he was lightly penciled in for, but there's even more disarray because you're really now without two guys over the next few games. Here's the pitch and the slam by Devers. See how it's down. It was a cutter. Inner half, and he's just waiting to see if it stays fair. It did, but that's an easier pitch to get to for Devers than the pitch up. And now he is really taking advantage. A walk and a grand slam, and I can make the point that walk still set the tone. The Boston Red Sox are flexing for the Houston crowd. To nothing. Red Sox on top after one and a half. 